Well guys, after attempt, after attempt, after attempt, it has finally happened. I caught my first smallies on the fly. And I did it with the help of one of my buddies named Jimmy. And the reason I asked Jimmy for help is because he's a self-taught fly fisherman who primarily fishes for smallmouth bass. And the river we fished, he's fished for decades. So what better person to help me out to finally, it is now July, get my first smallie on the fly. So just for anyone who wants to attempt catching smallies on the fly, I was using a Reddington Predator 9 foot 6 weight. I have a Reddington Behemoth 5.6 reel that had a 6 weight uh, Scientific Anglers MPX MXP fly line on it that went to a 16 pound fluorocarbon leader that went to 12 pound tippet at like 9 feet, 10 feet in total. And we threw two flies a typical chartreuse clouser minnow and Jimmy's creation, this hippie clouser minnow. I think that's what he calls it, the hippie. Anyway guys, enough about me talking. Check out these smallies. Jimmy! Yeah! <laughs> Jimmy! Hey, you got you there. Oh, come here, guy. Oh, come here, guy. Oh, yes, he is. Come. Nice. Oh, oh. right. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's pretty. Oh, man. Yeah, he's pretty. Oh. That's really. pretty, guys. Really nice. Look at this guy. Oh, man. Boom. Oh, I love smally fishing. Stout, stout fish. I, one of the best fighters in fresh water. Oh my god! Of course, he gets in that current. He can just sit there and just dog. <laughs> Come on, guy. Here. I'm just reeling up some. All right. Come here, guy. Oh man. Oh, come here. Oh, about the same size, but I don't care. It's a small one. I'm catching smallies, Jimmy. Yep. Yep. Come on, guy. There we go. Oh. I'm catching smallies. Oh, how cool. Oh, they are. Couple more. Basically, it's a color palette. Chartreuse, white, but it's just uh, sprinkles on. You mash down your board. Yes, I have a flat needle nose pliers in my. Uh, on here for two purposes. Let me hook in with the and nice Ah, another little guy. What do we got? Right, 
I could. I could go by, I could go by the way he's fighting. They fight for like three seconds and then go, all right, I'm done. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, indeedy. We got ourselves. We got ourselves a little rock bass. Look at that guy. Yep. Eating a giant clouser. There we go. I was hooked on your jaw. Oh. Pull in that pound out of here. Right. Let's go farther out. Yes! Pick another one? Yes! Go! 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 I think it's just fly with this. Yes! Another smallmouth. Oh man! Yeah. We just gotta get the size up a little bit. <laughs> oh man! Come here, guys. Come here. Oh man! Pretty little rascal. Look at that guy. Yep. Oh man! But that's that smells good for the future. Oh man! Way back there. That's good. Above that flat rock and below it. That's where they hang out. Got another one, Jimmy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, can... you never know, you know, you can pull a rock bass or, I mean, I've had them little old um, sunken seeds, uh, bluegill, come out of here, size of your hand, and they'll hit them things like, like they, yeah, that's a rock bass. Oh yeah. man, that's a rock bass? Yep, I can tell by the way, he's a hopping and a bopping. Man, you. I like hill for like 30, three or four seconds. And man. then they, now that's a fatty there. Yeah, that's he a is. Yeah. And you got, I know, I know, I know. Here, I just want to, I just want to look at you. And his tail a little tore up, but man. A little fatty, pretty red eyes on them things, ain't they pretty? Wow. Catch these things. As a matter of fact. That hole was skinny, all the way down to that green tree hanging over right there. So. After you, you know, you start to get bored and you're sitting in this one spot, just work your way down this and just stay in that slack water when you cast it. And okay. Back then you fish this hole all the way down to that set of rapids down there. There's something. I seen the minnows jump. You got something. It's and not fighting hard. Another darn rock bass. <laughs> like you get in that current, you just ride the current. Looks like he's a surfer or something. Man, but these are still large rock bass. Yeah, that's a good size one there. Yeah. Back when I was a kid, that'd have been a, an eater and a half. That's a big old rascal. Dude, he's dirty. Look at this guy. Look at him. Wow. Wait, no, maybe. Is it a smallie? It's a smallie! Gotcha, buddy! Gotcha! No. Yeah, nice, small, smallie. Oh, 
All right. Now, if that weren't enough, let me show you my attempt the next day. Now that I built some confidence about warm water fishing, I went to this specific place. Uh, I went and walked all the way to the dam. I didn't catch a single thing. I went back, I saw some rises, I fooled around with a popper, and I got this pumpkin head. <laughs> hey, Mr. Pumpkinhead. So guys, it's either me or it's the river or I don't know what I'm doing because uh, I had my confidence built back from spending time with Jimmy. By the way, uh, today is July 7th, the day this video comes out. That is also Jimmy's birthday. If you know Jimmy, wish him a happy birthday and happy birthday, Jimmy. I am so grateful you took me out. So, so I'm gonna have to figure this thing out. I'm going to figure this thing out because uh, I wanna catch smallies on the fly. They are the hardest pound for pound fighting fish that I've fought thus far. Now, I haven't caught a lot of different fish, so I'm sure some of you might have different ideas. But I'm gonna keep going because I'm gonna nail this thing. Subscribe if you'd like to. Hit like if you'd like to. Comment if you'd like to. Share if you'd like to. And take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.